Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading for August 2022. Um, this will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, those intuitively guided, you may have plans in the sign of Taurus, or you may be in love with the Taurus. Well, whatever brought you, I say welcome, and let's just get right into it. Um, so we're going to use three different decks. We're going to use our Mother Mary for our words of wisdom. Um, I'm pulling out another old deck that I apologize, I do not know the name for, so I'm going to show you the back, someone may know. Um, it's crazy I forgot the name of these because these were like one of my favorite decks that I haven't used in a while. And then we're going to use the Tarot Dreams for your main spread. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. This is the kind of reading, guys, where it's about your intuition spirit guides we're connecting to our spirit guides um if you're like but sandy i don't know how to do that don't worry about it because i feel like my guides connect to your guides um you know i don't feel like anything happens for no reason like if you're here there's a reason why you're here um just trust you know if you have questions feel free to ask them you know ask them to your guides and ask that the sign be clear if um, the sign isn't clear, ask for another sign. Ask for the sign to be clearer. Um, but if it comes in a form of a red flag, also be willing to accept that, right? Okay, we got two. Let's see what we have. We have tenderness. Tenderness. I am both gentle and powerful. I am both gentle and powerful sounds like the empress and then we have grace grace i know um many of you have graces in your family i love that name grace i am filled with the same beauty poise and divine perfection as all of god's other other creatures i am filled with the same beauty poise and divine perfection as all of God's other God's other creatures. I feel like that's saying don't you know sometimes we can think our life what's the meaning, right? Like what am I even here for? Um there's a reason. There is a reason. And I don't know, I feel like someone was saying that like I don't even know what I'm here for and I mean here on earth. There's a reason. There's a reason. All right. Let's see how that plays into the tarot portion and then we'll read that at the end those are where the words from the book are the most profound Taurus what's going on for August remember time is fluid something may just be beginning in August and then um, from there on who knows? Um, I feel like pulling from the top of the deck. I know a lot of you don't like that. I just want you to notice how many times I shuffled it, though. Um, I'm just getting this feeling to let the spread unfold. So we're going to do that. All right. We start with the Five of Pentacles. Bring this lid down. We start with the Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Well... First of all, it's a five. Your very first card, it speaks of some type of change. Maybe I didn't want this change. In the Five of Pentacles, I'm not really asking for this change, but nonetheless, it comes. So the Five of Pentacles talks about how you're going to react to that energy because this is a period where moving forward, um, if I understand, let's just say the towers, um, where it can really do great service for me this is a period where you're learning empathy and compassion for yourself and for the world um but this is also a period of time where i feel like it's moving you to soulmate energy um doesn't have to be soulmate lover can can be um but just soulmate you know friends and just the right people at the right time type of energy we have the seven of swords it's like someone stabbed you in the back
we have the Three of Pentacles. Interesting, it's a reverse. I have to tell you, I check my cards um, that they're all in the upright because I don't put reversals in a deck. If they come reverse, they're reversed. I don't, it's reversed. So, the Three of Pentacles are reversed. It looks like, here's what it looks like. It looks like something happened with, let's just say, someone. Someone who carries some untrustworthy energy anyway. Someone who is not appreciating what you bring to the table, your uniqueness. Now, this can talk about a workplace, right? Here I am at work, and someone, it could definitely be like someone stealing my ideas, and then they benefit from it. I, I just want to say hang in, if that's your, hang in there, if that's your case, because um, I don't feel like, you know, in the spirit world, it has gone unnoticed, Um but in the same breath, you know, it's like, it's almost like someone stealing your identity. We have the fool. So I got to move on. I got to move on. Five of Pentacles, again, it doesn't feel good, right? It, it, my hands are tied. I feel thrown out into the cold. But what comes next to it, the Seven of Swords, tells me that the energy that maybe pushed you out into the cold was untrustworthy energy anyways. I feel like it's it's someone that you being away from, I feel like, could probably change your world. Again, I feel like for some of you, it is it is talking about work. It's like someone taking my ideas, claiming it as their own, um... You know, but that can only go so far. It can only go so far. And, and listen, some of you may have actually gotten fired from a job or let go from a job. Might have been unexpectedly. But look at this. Here's the fool. So the fool says something new wants to open up. Free and clear energy. This is energy where you should feel good. It's like a fresh start. We have the king of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Certainly doesn't have to be though. This may be the king who threw us the five of pentacles. We have the three of cups under the seven of swords. Dang it. You know, I, I feel like, I don't know, Taurus, I just feel like there's some energy around you that seems quite messed up. Now, I don't, it's not you, it's someone else I feel. Um, I also feel with this three of cups, normally energy of joy and celebration. But to me, I also read it as um, over-celebrating, right? Like, um, maybe maybe you, like, you got let go and then they celebrate over your demise but truth be told like it's a very shallow celebration because truth be told you're moving um to bigger and better places anyways i feel like someone um may be a drinker um and that may be one reason why, you know, I, I'm getting this feeling like, you know, I drink all night and then I have to get up and I have to go to work and my head and my, my head is pounded and I'm, you know, last thing I'm thinking about is work. And that may be why, like your ideas, your work then taken um, and being, you, you know, being used on their behalf, um, but in the same breath. And as horrible as that is, I have to say, um, I feel like their karma will come to them. Because remember, whatever we do to another, we will eventually experience ourselves. All right, let's keep going. We have the hangman. Pause in action. We have the palace of swords. Palace is ultimately where you can end up, right? I want to say if you play your cards right. But really what I mean is if you are being proactive in your life, you know, like these five of pentacles happen to us and they're going to happen to us in our life. It's just the way life is, right? It's how we react to them. We're going to have these untrustworthy people around us. 
Um, and yes, they can destroy our lives, so to speak, but if we have complete awareness of it, if we see them for who they truly are, then they can't have the effect, right? And listen, maybe the damage is already done in one area, but that doesn't mean the damage is done in your whole entire life. Because sometimes, and I have to say, if if I've been around this Seven of Swords, again, untrustworthy, it's, you know, it's the thief in the night type of energy um you know and let's just say this is love and 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 if there's any part of me that still wants this person i feel like this is like showing you as boldly as it can um that this person no longer has a place in your life but that's a good thing all right what am i holding the palace of swords some of you are in the art of communication. Um, when I see the Palace of Swords, there's a couple things I think of, especially with the full right above it. I, I feel it, it's, it must be good. Um, I do feel it's about like your communication, um, your uniqueness, about living within your truth right here i don't feel like you are well maybe you are but someone's taking advantage of it i don't feel like that's going to go on much longer or it has ended the hangman for some it may say that you're not quite there yet but if that's the case what i want you to look at is what's right above it the three of pentacles in reverse again it it just feels like i'm not around my soul family i'm really around more karmic type people um, but there's great lessons in that. So don't dismiss it. There's great lessons. And some of those lessons are just so I can recognize that type of person. And next time someone, because, you know, we were never pro promised a rose garden. So next time, if that energy enters into my life, I see it. I feel it. I know it. And I nip it in the bud right away, right away. Hello, lovers. Now, first thing I'm going to point out is this is coming after the Five of Pentacles. So I do not feel like this is what was. I feel like this is talking about what will be. Because when we look at the Five of Pentacles, change. And then we look at the Fool, which is mirroring it, a new beginning. Lovers. We're in the year of the lovers. Card of Gemini. This can be a head over heart decision. That's the meaning of the card. But I mean, just look at these two people. First of all, they're naked in an embrace. And what that means to me is each appreci appreciates the uniqueness of the other. Here, you're not being appreciated for your uniqueness. You're not being appreciated for who you are. Here, you are. You know, it's crazy in life and in my own life um, how we think someone is all that, right? If this speaks of love and then, you know, we get a tower and our hand is forced and then it takes us a moment to like clear that energy. But then once we do and we start living for us again, amazing things open, right? This is about, listen, is is difficult as i feel this probably was or is don't take on the energy as your own understand it's outside yourself what i mean is like i can't control this person but i honestly don't want to control this person like i really don't want this person in your life anymore to be honest um and here's why It's not the only reason why, though. We have the Queen of Swords. So we do have the King and the Queen. We have the Chariot. Well, I love seeing the Chariot right now because it's coming under the Hangman. Here is movement, my dear. Here is movement. This type of movement within the Chariot is all about mind control. Um, first of all, I feel like the chariot is a reward. It comes in when you're ready for it, when you can handle it. Otherwise, you just crash it, 
right? I would just crash it. This is about taking your dream and soaring with it, taking your love and soaring with it. We we had this moment of time out, let's say, but the hangman is really seeking wisdom. Like, I, I want wisdom on my next steps, whether I'm praying about it or whether you're here trying to figure out what to do. Chariot, mind control. Um, card of Cancer also, by the way. So what was once on hold, now there's potential movement. And then look at this, last but not least, Judgment. This is your spiritual team. And I have to tell you, as coming out as the last card in this part of the spread, mirrored by that five of Pentacles, again, you know, it's not an easy energy, but it does promise you that you're going to move to a better place. Again, I feel like some of you have just been around like karmic type energy. Um, people who are like taking your ideas or, you know, thieves in the night. Um, if it speaks of love, it's someone that I cannot trust. And listen, maybe they broke it off with me. Maybe I had no choice to break it off with them. It does say that, you know, the beginning can be difficult, um, but if you stick with the progression forward, it only will get easier and easier and easier. Your spiritual team is showing up in the reading for a couple different re reasons. First of all, because there is first the five, change. And I have to say, five speaks about change, but changing with grace. Grace is the very first card we got second card this is your spiritual team just reminding you that we're here use us ask us for signs that's what we're here for um you're never alone even when you feel alone you're not alone judgment is about a call to the present moment you have the fool that's mirroring it that's also mirrored by the lovers it's also mirrored by this five of pentacles so the change the difficulty the uncomfortableness that will come to an end if i allow it the fool says don't bring that baggage forward with you um it's got no place in your future and all it can do is weigh you down you won't, don't want to be weighed down the fool is not weighed down and then you have judgment is saying i'm here to help guide your steps i'm here to help guide you okay let's see what's on the bottom of the deck well Hello, Knight of Pentacles, which is quite beautiful because this is your guardian angel. This is a knight that's bringing you a pentacle into your life and it's going to expand your world if you, if you accept it. The Knight of Pentacles is slow moving, um, but it comes at the right time. Now, I could have been in this energy for quite a while. And I do feel like for some of you, you have been in that energy for quite a while. Um, so sometimes I feel like the universe waits for us to react or take action. Like saying, okay, I don't want that anymore. I want better. And then the universe is like, finally, now we're going to respond. So this Ace of Pentacles that the Knight is bringing in is to expand your world. Listen, it could expand your finances. If some of you, I do feel like, like you know, a new job or even your own job. We'll see if the Emperor or something like that or Nine of Pentacles comes out. Um, but there's some type of blessing that's come in and it has been a while. It feels like I've been waiting and waiting. And that might be what the hangman is. But now here's the chariot. So I feel like this is coming in very soon. All right. Let's use our unknown deck. Already pre-shuffled. But we'll give it a couple shuffles. And let's go over this. Let's go a little deeper. Um, I want to remind you that, well, there's the emperor right there on the bottom of the deck. This may be um, saying that this is a dream. 
that I have. You know, maybe it hasn't been fulfilled yet, but there is the emperor. Huh. You know, someone's got to steal your work or steal your ideas or take anything that's really yours. You know, that's not you, it's them. You got to look at them. It's their lack, right? It's a lack mentality. Well, look, look at, this is crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay. First of all, we have the lovers. And then the emperor did make his way out. Now, it's interesting because the emperor's coming over the seven of swords. If this is speaking about a boss um, or a supervisor, you know, the emperor, if nothing else, is supposed to be someone that we look up to. He is in the upright. Um, but, you know, and then I feel like, um, so, okay, there's that. But then I also feel like because he's attached to the lovers, this could be talking about someone um, that, first of all, could be talking about you. I want to put that first and foremost because I feel like, I feel like the emperor is someone else, but then I also feel the emperor is you. So I feel like it's an opportunity to build... Um, the world the way or your life the way that you see it you know when there's a seven of swords again untrustworthy energy that's around you and not only are they around you but if if they're not like stealing ideas or something like that um they don't appreciate who you truly are it's very clear to me that they that they don't see listen they may think that you're i don't know i feel like they're just not they don't see you for who you truly are but here I feel like you're being seen. Now, the lovers is coming over that five of pentacles. We could say, okay, it was the lovers who did that to me, but I don't think so. Now, listen, it could, again, it could be a lover who has hurt you, and, and we've all experienced that, but that is not what I'm thinking here. Um, and I also want to say, if I've been in, in the energy of, should I start my own business? Should I start... Or should I leave? Should I look for something better? Um, because I feel like you're very qualified um, to lead. Let's just put it that way, whichever position that may be. Um, I feel like, you know, I can't say yes or no for you. You have to answer that yourself. But it looks like with the fool here, this is you taking a chance. This is the fool takes a leap of faith. Okay. It's like, I don't like to cover up the cards. All right, let's follow this. Hello, Ace of Cups. This is unconditional love. Unconditional love for oneself. And that just means that you need to forgive yourself for what you think that you have done or you haven't done, but maybe you feel like it. it. You know, it's forgiveness. Forgiveness, I don't even know what I'm holding. Forgiveness of oneself. This is about unconditional love. I don't feel like you had it with that Three of Pentacles in reverse. Why? Because someone couldn't see you for who you truly are. You know, you couldn't get that appreciation of who you truly are because they couldn't see it or they were in denial of it. We have the Eight of Wands coming over the full, fast-moving energy. What I think about, I bring about. All these wands are coming down towards you, though. So this is going to be fast. This is going to be fast-moving. Whenever it happens, it's the right time. That's what the Knight of Pentacles tells us. We can let go of control of, of a lot and just know that divine time is divine time. But 
sometimes the universe is like, get ready. I need you to be ready. That's what your spiritual team is saying. They're calling you to the present moment. Why? Because change is happening quickly. Again, when I think about, I bring about coming over the full. You know, it's like if you're unsatisfied or there has been a change or you're about to make a change, look at it in the light of I can truly start from this point on and create any type of life I want. What I think about, I bring about. This can move so quickly that it can cause confusion. But that's okay. Again, the fool. Eight, a new beginning. Right? A, a new start. Eight to me is self. So, again, it's reminding you of your intentions, right? The intentions that myself that I put out is what is going to come back to me. It's right next to the Ace of Cups. Right next to it. We have, look at this, we have the Three of Pentacles, but now we have it in the upright. Quite beautiful. Coming over this King of Swords. And then, hello, Princess of Cups. This princess receives this cup quite unexpectedly. I, feel, I have a feeling that's why your spiritual team has come out, calling you into the present moment. Because, again, fast moving. I can't really expect it, but I may feel it. This is the energy where I feel like, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I feel something coming towards me. I don't know what it is yet, but it feels good. Stay in that energy, right? produce from that energy um, believe that energy this cup is to make this princess happy you know and I love that it's coming over the three of cups because it feels like what it's doing and do I think you're the princess yes I do um, you're either you know someone coming in or you are the princess again unexpected unexpected cup an unexpected cup is coming in. Here's the cup. When is it coming, Sandy? Soon. Maybe August, right? Eight. Three of Pentacles now in the upright. Number one, I feel like this is you getting back to you. This is you appreciating you and what it is you do bring to the table. You know, someone could have knocked a self-confidence out of you, but that, that was temporary. It only has to be temporary because um, you're much beyond that. This is a celebration of your uniqueness. And you know how I felt that soul people, that you're going to be moving into soul, you know, let's just call them your soul family. Again, that doesn't have to mean blood at all. Um, that's exactly what I feel here. Some of you are meeting someone through this energy. It may again be a new job. This emperor, if it's not you, again, a card Aries, I don't know if I said that. Um, it could also be an offer. Some type of offer. Again, I feel like it's about fulfillment. And um, do I need to think long and hard about it? I feel like if you feel it's right, like if your first instinct is it feels right, don't let your fear of change overrule that. Because that's what we do. All right, let's look over the hangman. We have the hermit. Well, you guys, you know, I know we're all soul family, and I know that's why we're pulled together. We're here to help each other. Um, you know, my experiences, your experiences um, are very similar, right? We have very similar experiences, um, and I feel like we're meant to help each other. The hermit, well, first of all, it's a card of Virgo. I am a Virgo. 
Um, but this is about your spirituality. Some of you, I almost want to put a Virgo name on it. Um, so for some of you, I feel like this probably is a Virgo. Like, I feel like the cards that we're showing are... are um, of that sign, but then I also feel the energy of. Does that make sense? So anyways, the Hermit. The Hermit, interesting enough, usually the Hermit is facing that way, but this Hermit is facing the Princess. He's like illuminating the Princess. I feel like this is a couple different things. You know, if I've had... If I've had what I feel like is bad luck in my life, then I probably expect more bad luck, right? Um, but I need to know better. I need to know better. Because if I feel like there's bad luck, there's chances are, or if I've been repeating something over and over, like if I keep bringing bad boys to me, or if I keep bringing bad girls to me, then i got to look at that, right? That means one or two things. There is a lesson. To be learned and sometimes it's learning what I do not want you know like like I remember when I was younger and looks were important you know I thought oh I got to be really attractive but then as I grew it wasn't about looks anymore it was about the person I didn't care what they look like it was about their heart their soul that's what was important to me um just so happens I ended up with my first love who is quite gorgeous. Um, but that's not that's not why. Okay, anyway. Well, we have the wheel. Destiny. I feel like you've learned some major lessons. Major life lessons. And you've learned them for a reason. To help you to produce a better life for yourself. Um, let's face it, the hermit does walk through the dark night of the soul. The hermit's seeking the light, right? When I go into the dark night of the soul, or let's say I go into the dark cave, I'm asking those big questions. I'm asking the big questions, and then I'm going to listen. What the hermit ultimately finds out is the hermit is the light, right? I'm seeking the light, but the light has always been within me. The hermit emerges from the cave as the master teacher, whether I planned it or not, um, whether I'm helping millions or I'm helping one, right? Whether I know that I'm helping or my energy just helps. Maybe I don't even know it. I feel like it's just who you're meant to be. It's just who you're meant to be. Well, hello, Four of Wands over the lovers. <laughs> um, this is the marriage card. This is the commitment card. The Four of Wands is about two people who love each other so much, they really couldn't imagine not being together. It doesn't promise that they're going to have, like everything's going to be roses. No. But what it does say is that these two people are willing to work through it together. Right? The good and the bad. Till death do us part. This may be your lover. Or, you know, I'm saying lover. This may be your love um, forevermore. At least in this lifetime. We have the Four of Cups. And then we have the Prince of Swords. So it's interesting. Um, we have some kings and queens. We're doing a Taurus reading. Um, though I do feel like a lot of you are also intuitively guided. It doesn't matter what your sign is though. With this king and the queen. First of all, this king is coming in the upright. Um, he also has this three of pentacles in the upright, where here it was reversed. So I feel like this is saying this is someone who um, will appreciate those unique parts of you. 
um, that maybe you don't like about yourself, right? But they'll they'll appreciate it. They're gonna appreciate who you truly are. I love this line. We have the lovers. We have the lovers, and then we have the four of cups. I'm sorry, the four of wands. And then we have the queen over here. And interesting because, you know, this queen, again, this princess of cups is a receiving, right? She's a receiving a cup. Um, here is the queen matching this king. But the four of cups comes over the queen. So let's talk about that. You know, two fours, by the way. Um... And that talks about foundation to me. You know, if, if I want to build something new, whether it be a love life, a career, I've got to think about the foundation. The foundation is the most part. So I, I need awareness, right? I need to be aware. Um, and nowhere do I see you wearing blindfolds or anything like that. So I feel like you're moving into this, this area. What's interesting in the Four of Cups is... You know, this person has a dream. This person does want this cup to come in, right? And it's coming in. But in this energy, this can also be the energy of inactivity. Not doing much about my life. Not thinking so much about my foundation. Why? Well, maybe I just feel like it's just, you know... It's always going to be the same, but this doesn't feel that way at all. It feels the opposite. So there may be a little bit of inactivity. It may just say it's going to take the queen a minute. It's going to take her a minute. Um, again, I don't care what the sign is. You know, when I see swords, the queen and the king, I think of truth. I think of, you know, being myself. Um... I think of, you know, if I am going to be in love again, honesty must be first and foremost. And I feel like in here, you'll have that. And then let's not forget, ultimately ending up in the palace of swords. Again, doesn't matter what your sign is. It's about their energy, right? Because I feel like these are the two that are connecting. And um, everything just feels meant to be. Everything feels it well, and then you have the wheel over here. Let's get one more card out and then see if we need to clarify anything else. Okay, we've got a few, but I am going to take them. See if they tell their own little story. All right, another four. Four, four, four. You know, every single reading has had either triple or quadruple numbers. And I feel like fours are for you. So, we'll see. Four of Pentacles. That is about your foundation. Um, you know, as it relates to Taurus, we all have our little things, right? Um, like, like a Virgo, um, especially a Virgo man, you know, has a hard time expressing their emotions they can show it but expressing it it's something they they learn i know because i'm living with a double virgo um and i'm a virgo taurus i feel like sometimes you can hold on to your ideas too tightly um and what i mean by that is just be open to what maybe the universe wants to bring you you know let go of control of exactly how something must look and go by the feeling of something instead. Okay, let's keep going. Well, we have the Five of Swords. That's good. That means you've had the realization of what has been toxic in your life. Um, again, it's five, a change. Um, you know, like, you can't pull the wool over my eyes anymore. I see, I see you. I see who's toxic. I see, you know, who's doing what to me. Um, even if I can't see it, I feel it, and I trust it. Six of Wands, victory. What are you looking in? What are you looking um, to happen in your life? This is the energy of victory. Can I also tell you? I feel like this is very um, alluring 
type energy. This is an energy where people are looking up to you for what, you know, it's more about what you do than what you say. It's the action that one takes and the appreciation of it. It's interesting because we open the reading where I feel like it's not you, like you already have these great ideas or you have this wisdom, but others taking it from you, right? For whatever the reason, that's got to end, right? It's got to end. Um, it's not how you want to live your life. So I feel like it does. It will. Um, but then I feel like opportunity is going to show itself very quickly to you. Do you accept it? Maybe it takes you a moment, but I want to say go with the first thing you feel. What am I holding? Six of Wands. King of Pentacles can be you. Um, another Taurus. Or Virgo or Capricorn you know a lot of times people say to me if like I'm watching my sign but then the person I care about is also that same sign how do I know who is who you have to feel it you have to feel it you know if if it's throwing a lot of confusion either watch it again um, with a very open mind keep your mind open right don't have like set expectations this is about like letting the universe surprise us in all its glorious ways. I don't know why I'm saying all that. It's funny how I'll start on something and be like, where did that come from? So anyways, the King of Pentacles. And then we have another six, the Six of Swords. Do I love this? Yes. Why? Because with these cards, we opened with the Five of Swords. The realization of who... And what has been toxic in my life and that can even be my own thoughts matter of fact it's probably partly in my thought system but also the energy around me it is toxic type energy again it doesn't always mean that everybody around me is is toxic you know I'm thinking of Britney Spears and she have a song toxic um, but what it does mean is this is the separation from that and again like let's say in this five of swords they're all family members um it's not saying cut the ties unless it serves you to cut the ties i feel like you will know here because that's what the six of swords is doing you know how i said in the five of pentacles change is never easy well it can be it can be um maybe it's just something we tell ourselves like change is not easy um but what if it's bringing all these great things into your life six of swords you are moving away from this five of swords i have no doubt in my mind now i have no doubt in my mind six of swords talks about the choppy waters to eventually bring you to the beautiful calm waters bring it to your own beautiful beach who do you want on that beach? It's up to you. I feel like sixes are now showing themselves over and over again. How was this? Oh, we have two sixes right here. Six right here. So fours and sixes. Sounds like a poker hand. Okay, I want to go back... Or maybe I should do what I've done with everybody else's reading. Let's look at certain things. I want to keep this Four of Wands, um, which again is the marriage card or at least the commitment card. Um, you know, it doesn't always have to be marriage. We have two lovers here. Hello. So it's like both lovers are showing on the table. Doesn't mean both lovers have been in yet or have come in yet. Even though like the Empress was on the bottom of the deck and it made its way out very, very quickly. So, um, let's look at your love, your love life. And then let's also look at, let's pick this up. Don't forget that, the wheel. It's your time. When? Soon. Very soon. The emperor. You know, are you meant to be the leader? Can you be the leader? Maybe that's exactly what you're meant to be. 
Maybe you had to learn from these um, untrustworthy type of people, right? So then when you do your thing, you know what type of people to put around you. You know, most successful people have great people around them to help delegate, right? But when we just accept anyone, that's, I don't know. So anyways, we have the emperor. All right. You may also keep this lovers here too. Let's pick this up. And before I move on, I want to just keep this line out because I feel like this is speaking for a lot of you work or what you do for a living or what you do within in your creative house. Wow, we got a lot of cards. We're going to take them. Six of Wands. We just had that. Six of Swords. Did I just put the deck? Oh, never mind. These are the these are the cards that are already out. I'm like, what? Alright, we want to keep an eye on them. Let's bring out a different deck. Um let's bring out the Lumerous Tarot. Again, guys, these readings are meant to be long for your monthly. Um, because I know a lot of you prefer them that way. Um, and it's the way I really love doing them, to be honest. Uh, but then I will do bonus readings. And I do them strictly by what I feel guided, like who I feel guided to do. Um, last month it just so happened to be every sign. I don't, I can't promise it'll be every sign this month. It's just whatever sign I feel guided to. Like, I really trust my guides. They're great with me. They let me know who needs me and who doesn't. Okay. So, I'm only looking at this for a second. We have Justice. Carta Libra. We have the Death card. Carta Scorpio. Libra and Scorpio side by side. We have the Two of Swords. And then we have the World which is in reverse, but it doesn't have to be. The only reason the world is in reverse because the Two of Swords comes before it. This Two of Swords to me is the feeling of blocking an opportunity um, that's coming my way. Why? Because maybe there's something I don't want to see. Maybe I don't want to, I don't really want to see the Seven of Swords character, but the truth, but I've got to know the truth, right? I've got to be, I've got to have awareness um, I just don't know how blindfolds would serve us. So then you have the world. This is the next chapter, guys. It is the next chapter. I feel like all this heaviness that has happened, this distrustful type energy, I feel like it wants to leave now. You know, we're in an eclipse season also. So this energy feels like it may be eclipsed from your life. But don't fret because it's all good. Two of Swords is the only thing. You know, and why is the Two of Swords here? Because it's coming under the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So I'm just a little uncertain of my own uniqueness, my own creativity. I'm just putting a little doubt there, but it definitely feels like it's coming because of past influences. If we look at justice, it is the cutting of ties. Often I read justice as karmic ties. Um, it can speak of a divorce. Certainly it can speak of legal, um, you know, legal topics, that type of thing. Um, but honestly, what I feel like justice is here for is because it's talking about making you whole again. You know, kind of like you were fragmented here and now you're becoming whole again. The death card is an ending. It is a clear ending. It is a door that is being shut. I see no reason to reopen this door because it's falling under that Seven of Swords. The Death card says, do not fear the closing of the door because it's all about the rebirth and what will be. I've got to allow it. I've got to allow it though. I've got to allow it. And once you do, 
you know, and some people are like, but I am allowing it, Sandy, I am. But but there's just something, something that I don't want to see. You know, maybe I don't want to see that these people were untrustworthy. But knowing the truth is what's going to set you free. Close the door so that you can have the rebirth that you deserve. I'm not only saying that, your spiritual team is saying that. Remember, this is coming from unconditional love. Okay, so I just wanted a quick look at that. I think I'm pretty clear. Let's pull these up. And now I want to look. You know, someone's like, I've had quite a few comments where people are like, all you do is love. It's not all I do. I know love comes out in almost every reading, but it's really life. It's talking about life and how we can get to, you know, our own paradise. Um, and and also, I feel like we can't expect everything to be like hunky-dory all the time, but we can learn how to react all right, now we are looking at love. So we have the lovers. We have the four of wands. We have the ace of cups. I want to put them in the way they came. And then... I think it was this way. Well, no, it was this way. So, well, the two lovers together. Oh no, sorry. The lovers, the ace of cups, the lovers, the four of wands. I, you know, it's funny. It's because it's almost like here I'm meeting someone. Um, immediately it feels like love. Uh, but I do feel like this is true. I do feel like this is true because I feel like this is something that may happen very quickly. Like usually I'm against, not that I'm against, but I say take your time in relationships. Give that person time to reveal who they truly are and not just who they say like watch the actions and i don't mean in a like a um what's the word i'm looking for um in a suspicious type way um it's just people will, will reveal themselves to you um but nonetheless i don't know why i'm shuffling the cards but i am giving them another cut and let's look at this <laughs> wow okay first of all we had the princess of cups in the last reading right about to receive some type of cup of emotion that will fulfill her here is the knight of cups bringing it in we have the nine of wands coming over this ace of cups i feel like it's the same this is the way this is the this is the best way to look at love that i've had it maybe didn't work out what you have learned from it the nine of wands is all about the spiritual muscle you have gained from your hard journeys um you know and the harder they are the, sometimes the more you can learn. This is about new growth, right? New growth within your life. Um, but it, it's looking at my past in a different way. And like, like, wow, look what I got through. Like, good for me. Good for me. And look what I have learned. You know, um, this is about self. Again, nine. About self. And um, I just feel like it's a different way of looking at things. And then, come on. Holy cow. The Ten of Cups. Wow. Here's the Knight. Here's the Ten. What's in between the two? The Nine of Wands. So this knight, I think I have it backwards. The knight is coming in, right? The knight of cups. Ugh. 
unexpected. Carrying that cup, he's holding it right out there for you, right? It's coming in. And I feel like at the right time, right under the lovers. So I'm not worried about that. What comes next? The nine of wands. This is just telling myself, instead of like looking at my life and like, you know, like look at all the shit that's happened in my life. This is about, look at the shit that's happened in my life and look how I have grown from it. I'm saying that because I don't feel like this is something, um, I don't know. I don't feel like it's something you want to turn down. Because then under the lovers, again, the second lovers, is the ten of cups. That's the house of harmony. That is the house of love. It's the house of love, laughter, inner child. Um, again, doesn't mean it's a rose garden. But these, when you see a four of wands, right, which we did, this is about two people, you know, for, for better or worse. But this is people who, these are two people who work together. When I say better or worse, I don't mean like, worse oh you go out and cheat on me and this and that well i still gotta accept that like some of you that's your belief uh that's your religious belief and so be it but for some of us that's not you know what i mean like um i can't see god saying you got to stay with this piece of crap for the rest of your life because you chose it <laughs> no instead learn sandy learn learn from what you, your choices have brought you and I did. But it took me a while. Ten of Cups. Taurus. Listen. If you're not in a relationship, I feel like you are going to find a very special relationship. Let's say you are in a relationship. Um, but if you are, I don't feel like there's trustworthy issues around it. If that is, I'm not really sure. Can you work around it? Well, of course you can, but sometimes you need to go get help for that. Um, why? Because we cannot control the other person. And if we do have to try to control someone, is that really what I want? Right? Is that really what I want? Like, I want you to want me. I don't want to fight with you because I feel like you don't want me like i want to know that you want me and if it's so hard for you to show me whether listen some people just have a hard time expressing it through their words i think sometimes we just have to accept that but if they're not expressing it through their actions why do i want that and i'm only saying that because look at what's in front of us look at the beauty in front of us do I dare take one more card? Well, I didn't get one. But they did come face up. We have the Knight of Wands. Wow. Okay, let's talk about this. Because now we have two Knights on both sides here. Knight of Cups coming in. Knight of Wands coming in this way. Knight of Wands is passion. Desire. Action fast moving i feel like this is going to be a very fast moving relationship to be honest then we have the four of pentacles and then we have the six of pentacles okay six of pentacles coming under this nine of cups tells me that you have learned a true sense of empathy and compassion um and to the point where listen some of you that's now what you do for a living like you help others in some capacity to learn to love themselves again or to help them through um but it, it i swear i don't think it could have came if you didn't have the experiences you've had because i feel like some wisdom must come through experience six of pentacles a couple different things here six of pentacles is about giving and receiving equally equally Listen, it doesn't mean that look, sometimes I'm the giving partner and the other partner is receiving. And then other times the partner is giving and I'm a, the one that's receiving. It doesn't mean that we're always equally at the same, you know, energy. But what it's saying is when one falls, the other one picks that one up. 
Some of you will feel like you're working out of home or you will have an opportunity to do that. Again, listen, I feel like this is about you building your foundation from this point forward. Okay, we already saw those cards. And let's just take two more. Okay, so your reading is over an hour. But, look at this. You know, I'm thinking, I don't even know what I'm going to title this. Alright, we have the King of Wands. Well, this is a king that shows his action. This is the king of movement. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, by the way, it doesn't have to be. Um, but this is the king of movement. Um, this is someone that moves according to their inspiration, their passion, their desires, their epiphanies, all that. Um, I like that for you because I feel like that's what it's saying. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Well, first of all, let's talk about the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles talks about being willing to go into something as the apprentice, even if it's speaking of love, or if it's speaking of work, or if it's speaking of your creativity, like you might be guided to something. Um, go with it. Go with it. Because ultimately, if I'm willing to go in as the apprentice, and I'm willing to put my focus on it, I'm going to grow it. I'm going to grow it to success. And that I know. Okay, why do I have cards everywhere? What are these? Wow. Okay, I don't know where they came from. But these cards we have not seen. So we're going to take them. We have the magician. The manifester. The great teacher. We have the Seven of Pentacles, meant to be. It's on your seed. It's on your tree of your soul's intention, manifesting it. Wow. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Remember how that Knight of Pentacles says, I'm bringing an Ace in for you? And it's coming at the right time? Here it is. Oh my God. We have the Ace of Cups. Not just one blessing, two blessings. I kind of already knew that because it does feel like work and love. Nine of Cups. And then look who showed back up again, the Emperor. Let's talk about the Emperor a little deeper because the Emperor is someone that, again, I can look up to. I feel like in no re there's no reason in this spread why I cannot look up to this person. I also feel like this is saying you yourself are beginning something. You're creating something. You're building your own business. If you are willing to put that work in, I already know you're going to be successful. Not just that, but I feel like it's exactly what you're meant to do. Ace of Pentacles. The Knight promised you it was coming in. It's coming over your love sector, but it's also part of your financial world. The Ace of Cups. Twice. I don't even know what to say about this, guys. It just feels meant to be. Meant to be. I'm going to leave it there. I'm just thinking, like, how am I going to title this? Because I know people don't always want to hear about love. But it is strong in here. Um, but so is career. Your money is strong. This is a very strong reading. Um, very clear to me. I hope clear to you. Let's read. I know I'm over an hour. So let's read. Um, let's read Grace. Because tenderness. I am both gentle and and powerful. That's what you've learned. How to be gentle, but yet powerful at the same time. That is what you have learned. All right, let's read Grace. Which follows God, by the way. 
You receive this card because Mother Mary sees, the, sees your graceful beauty and she wants to help you to see this in yourself too. This is a message about increasing your self-confidence and sense of self-worth. As you feel better about yourself, your actions will shift in positive ways, which will create a healthier climate for you and your loved ones. Today, envision how Mother Mary would handle each situation you face. Emulate her composure as you gracefully embrace everything that comes your way. And there's a lot coming your way. Your grace will naturally give you a magnetism that draws wonderful people and experiences to you. Taurus, I absolutely loved your reading. It feels like your life is changing, um, but it feels like it's meant to. Now, again, it doesn't have to mean everything, but I feel like one change starts another change, which starts another change. Um, as, it as it relates to love, I, f I do feel like this is going to be very a very fast-moving relationship. Why? Because we feel it. Because we see it. These lovers, again, especially in here, completely naked. Completely themselves. And that is what you're being appreciated for. All right. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the rating. Um, I know it was long. So I know a lot of people clicked off by now. Um, their choice. Because to me, this was the most beautiful part of the reading. Um, but your comments will tell me otherwise. I love you guys. I thank you. Thank you for sharing uh, my videos on your social media. Um, it definitely reaches people you know maybe you don't even know it it reaches people who maybe otherwise wouldn't have seen it right um i thank you for that i thank you for your comments and helping each other i just find that beautiful i think that's what we're here for you know it's not like i'm the leader we are a group right we are a group um so thank you for that um, thank you for your donations. It, I have, you know, being honest, I don't know. My channel's not growing as fast, and I'm having financially, it's very hard for me to stay on YouTube. So, your donations, I want you to know, they really do help, and I really, truly thank you for that. Um, thank you for just being you. I hope that this reading finds you and gives you the clarity that you're seeking. Um, this seems like a very important reading, but it is probably the most beautiful reading I've done so far. So, I love you guys. I will see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.